Okay, it's uh, Wednesday, 30th of June. It's uh, half seven in the evening. I've uh, got down here after work. I've got what, 12 hours ahead of me fishing until uh, I have to pack up and go to work tomorrow morning. And I've got this swim, which is uh, one of the swims that I love for overnighters. Not just because the car's just there, but just because it's uh, one of the better swims, I think. It has been for me anyway. Okay, now where I'm going to be fishing is uh, just along the margin here. I'm going to have one, just um, a couple of rod lengths out, just an underarm flick in, in close. And I've got some balls of bait over there. And I'm just going to put those out there, four balls of bait, I don't know, 20 freebies. The other rod, I've had a little bit of a flick about, a uh, drag about. And uh, there's a little bit of broken ground in amongst what is mainly just silt. Um, and uh, before there's, there's a wee bed nearer in, but I'm going to be going over the top of that. Um, and uh, yeah, just uh, on a little bit of broken ground and put, I don't know, about the same amount out and a few spots. Um, the fish do like to get along that margin um, and they feel quite safe. And what you, you really just try and nick any that make the mistake of coming up this far because uh, they obviously know that this gets fished this bit but uh, they've got a good couple of hundred yards up there which they where they feel safe and they're always showing because um, you can't you can only really fish it uh, from from day swims a couple of day swims that are further up the bank there but uh, t they're, they're very steep and they're uh, not really ideal for sort of well, even day sessions really so um yeah um gonna get them out there now uh, that'll give me what getting on for 12 hours and we'll see how we get on Okay, well, that's them out there and, and baited up. Um, yeah, just going to settle down for the evening, have me uh, me dinner for heaters tonight. Right, I shall do an update before uh, it gets dark. Okay, it's just coming up ten o'clock now. Um, I'm all fed and watered. Um, not really seen anything to. Uh, get me uh, excited. If I don't see you in the night then I'll uh, see you in the morning. Morning. Just coming up six o'clock now. All quiet really. I don't know. Noise just round to the rear of me. Um, on the left. Gonna have a look at that. Okay it's uh, half seven now. Uh, all packed up. Uh, there was nothing more after that bit of excitement. Uh, other than I did have a bleep on the right hand rod um, but uh, no it's going to be a warm one today I think um, right well I'll, uh, I'll see you next time I'm down whether it be Friday, tomorrow or, uh, or Saturday ok ok I'm back in the same swim it's uh, Saturday 3rd of July just gone 3 o'clock in the afternoon got down there about half one I've gone back on exactly the same spots as you might imagine uh, it was sort of um, drizzly on the way down here driving down here um, and I looked at the forecast I think it's going to stay dry uh, tonight through to tomorrow lunchtime I'm here till tomorrow lunchtime so I've got what I don't know uh, was it 20 hours something like that 21 hours fishing so yeah yeah it's really quite confident so um, We'll see what happens shall we okay it's uh, just coming up seven o'clock now um the only thing that's happened is uh, around about four o'clock a fish boshed out further up the margin but other than that it's been pretty quiet fingers crossed something happens in the night so just gone ten o'clock 
just been uh, rudely awoken by a tench on the uh, left hand rod so uh, I've just put it back out there um, let's hope for something bigger in the night morning it's just coming up to 5am and all was quiet ok Tom's having my first coffee I think these are the peak hours I think for a, a take so uh, yeah I'll be at the ready. Just come up to eight o'clock now. Um, seen a fish top out on the plateau, which is uh, that swims water. And I heard one other this morning, but I couldn't see where. But that's about it. Right. Well, if nothing happens, then I'll do an update before I go. Okay, it's uh, 12 o'clock now, that's me done, I'm all packed up, um, I was talking to someone who uh, was walking around and uh, not a lot's been out, so uh, I'm not alone, uh, but I'll be back, uh, you know, Tuesday or Wednesday probably, um, may jump in this room again, just keep plugging away at it, you know, a little bit of bait's going out each time, so, you know, just get a bit of a spot going, that said, if some of the better swims, other better swims are free, you know, I can, I can jump in there. So, uh, yeah, okay, well I'll see you then. Hey, it's uh, Tuesday, 6th of July, it's just come up to 8 o'clock in the evening. Uh, I've got a night and uh, into tomorrow, actually, because I've got tomorrow off. But uh, I won't be staying the whole day, I'll be up till about lunchtime. And I'm in a different swim. which uh, if you watch my previous videos you'll see that uh, I fished back in December time I think it was didn't have anything <coughs> but um, yeah I've uh, heard fish since I've been down here I've been one or two showing out there some showing right down in uh, what are effectively just day swims down there uh, where I'm going to be fishing is uh, going to have one rod out there um, at uh, 13 wraps which is on the plateau uh, that I've talked about before uh, and there's lots of weed out there but uh, I found a clear spot so I'm going stick it, to stick it there with a few spots around it and the other one, the other rod's going, the left hand rod is going out there now there's a felled tree there and there's a felled tree there and they sort of crisscross and cut off uh, sort of a little area of a corner there and I'm going to be fishing up as close to it as I can because there must be a little sanctuary for them in there um, and it looks just looks good with this wind that we've got which is you know sort of southerly uh, it's been quite gusty today it's got up to about 40 miles an hour at one point it's like dropping now obviously because uh, you know it's getting on for the evening i don't think it's gonna blow uh, much more than this during the night yeah right okay well uh, let's get them out there Okay, half eight, just finished putting them out there and spotting and uh, we'll see what happens. A tench! <laughs> Okay, just gone 10 o'clock, uh, all fed and watered, um, there's been no more tench so far, fingers crossed, it stays that way, um, we'll uh, see what happens in the night. Okay, it's just gone midnight and I've had one. Left hand rod, already zeroed the sling. Looks a bit spawned out, I reckon about 20 pound. <coughs> 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 
Okay, back you go. Oh, that was okay, wasn't it? Um, not the prettiest fish, but uh, I'll take that. It uh, stops the uh, run of a couple of blanks that I had. So um, yeah, and it stopped raining just as I just as I got it in as well, which was nice. Uh, I've got it back out in the spot. I'll probably put it back out again in the uh, morning, you know, as soon as it gets light. Uh, don't mind being welcome for that. So, I'm going to get my head down again now and uh, hopefully get disturbed again. Morning. Just coming up six o'clock. All quiet after that. I didn't actually get up to rechuck that left hand rod, so I will in a bit. And uh, may even have another chat with the right hand one because that's been very quiet. Right, it's uh, coming up eight o'clock now. Uh, got them back out there. Um, it didn't help that uh, the uh, left hand rod. The rig was tangled on it when I brought it in, um, and the uh, the right hand rod uh, had weed around the uh, bait, uh, so I must have just been off the off the spot. It can't be a very big clear spot that I uh, found. So uh, yeah. Anyway, I've got another. What, I'm going to hang it out till lunchtime, I think. So we've got another four four or five hours. Um, Try and get another one. Bream. <laughs> Okay, it's uh, half eleven now. Um, rods are on the deck. Everything's pretty much in the car. Um, just gonna reel them in about quarter two, and then be off and out the gate by twelve. Um, so that's what sixteen hours or so, and it from eight last night uh, fishing. Uh, so I'm glad I had the one. Um, could have done with those tension bream being something else but uh, yeah um, I'll next be back down probably Saturday lunchtime uh, for sort of 24 hours so uh, yeah right well if I don't have one off the deck then uh, I'll see you next time okay it's uh, Saturday 10th of July it's uh, just about three o'clock in the afternoon I've just got down here just as someone was packing up in this swim, the swim where I had the 30 from the other week, so uh, that's a result. Yeah, I'm going to stick one obviously out there on the spot where I had the 30 from, um, and I'm going to stick one up the side of the island, 20 wraps, just where the overhang comes out, which is where everybody tends to fish, but you know, it does do fish. I was toying with the idea of putting one there in the mouth of the channel, which that, that runs through into that swim over there, where I had a couple of fish from before I moved in here when I had that 30. Or the two fish I had from in there, you know, I was fishing on the, the other side of the mouth of that channel that goes through. But I think I'm going to go for the uh, the uh, steady eddy reliable spot that uh, people seem to catch from. Um, right, I'm all ready to go, so let's get them out there.
Well, that's them out there. Uh, the weather's looking a bit moody actually, some dark clouds over there, so we could yet get some more rain. Right, okay, well, uh, settle back, have a uh, Saturday late afternoon beer, and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, well I've got one. It's uh, only half hour later after casting them out. Uh, the right hand rod. It's wiped out my, it's wiped out my left hand rod as well, but uh, never mind. I reckon about 17. Sling zeroed. <laughs> huh. Not bad at this. 17 and a half. Okay. Show you to the camera, oh, mate. Being good, isn't he? Just do the other side quickly. Then I'll put you back and you go and get your big brother. Come on then, there you go. You didn't need reviving. Well, that's not bad, is it? Take after half an hour. Took me, uh, took me a while to sort my uh, lines out. Like to re redo one rod pretty much completely. Uh, new leader and everything. But, uh, yeah, just gotten back out there and uh, I've put about the same amount of bait out again on the uh, right hand rod because that got taken so quickly. So, you know, who knows who's to know if there's more than one fish down there feeding, they just mopped it up. So, I've just put, I've just put uh, eight more spots out and another, what, 30 baits. Hence, we've gone, you know, usual. Right, I don't know what time it is, but uh, I'm gonna sit back and uh, finish my beer now and. Uh, yeah, be on my toes a bit lively in case I have another one. Okay, just uh, gone eight o'clock. Looks like we're gonna get a nice bit of a sunset. Uh, been a few sort of um, fish showing on the surface out in the area of the uh, right hand rod. So I think if uh, one goes again, it could be that, that one. Right. Okay, I'm going to watch the sun go down and uh, yep, hopefully get to do an update during the night. Morning. Half oh, five now. There's been a fish showing out there. It's uh, still a little bit away from where I'm, I've got my left hand rod. All pretty quiet during the night, I could hear fish crashing. Okay, it's uh, just coming up half nine now. Very quiet, I mean, there's a bit of wind and ripple on the water now, but uh, no, a few people have packed up and gone, the few that were here. Okay, it's uh, just come up half eleven, uh, I'm all packed up, that's me done. Um, I thought I was going to have a few more after that first one, you know, I thought it was going to be on for a good session, but it just didn't happen. Um, I think there's, well I know, there's been a few blank on here this weekend, so uh, it's been pretty quiet, so probably lucky to get the one that I did, so yeah. Right, um, I'm probably going to be down Tuesday or Wednesday uh, next week, another quick overnighter, 
and uh, I'll see you then. Okay, it's uh, Wednesday, 14th of July. We've just come up to half five in the uh, afternoon. Just knocked off work and uh, I've got until tomorrow morning, uh, till about half seven. So uh, I've jumped in this swim again. I uh, was fishing up the margin and uh, unsuccessful um, a couple of weeks ago. We've got a sort of change in the weather over the last couple of days um, in that it's, get prog it's got progressively warmer, uh, fairly settled pressure um, of about 10, 17, 10, 20 and uh, it's been very sunny all day and quite hot actually but a little bit of cloud cover now um, but there's been a change in the wind, the wind's sort of gone northerly to northwesterly. Right, I'm going to get set up. Okay, well the uh, spud rod has stayed packed away because I'm just fishing obviously the margins on both of them. Um, the reason I've put one down there is that uh, as I was putting the bivvy up a fish just crashed through there in the, uh, in the margin. So uh, I thought right, stick one out there. And actually this is like a, like a bit of a headland because the uh, sort of it does obviously I can wade out there a bit and then it drops right off. So I'm thinking that the fish, you know, they, if they uh, come round here, they have to pass that point to patrol because I don't think they come up and through along the shallow shelf here. They might, you know, um, but uh, no, that, that would uh, seem to me to be a, a good bet. Right, it's just coming up seven o'clock, so I'm gonna get some grab on. Uh, I would watch the sun go down, but it's behind me up there, so uh, can't do that. But uh, got a nice scene, and uh, I'll keep my ears uh, peeled. <laughs> uh, I'm listening for fish up the margin here. I'll we'll try and keep quiet tonight, um, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, it's been quite warm today, about 23 degrees, something like that, and it's going to get warmer like through what remains of this week and through the weekend. Um, so, yeah, and it's been a bit settled, so I don't know whether I'm confident or not, really. Um, some of the ripples coming from down there. Ah, ducks. Right, catch up later. Okay, it's uh, nine o'clock now, uh, wind's calmed off. Had a few bleeps on either rod, just probably silverfish. Getting the heads into the uh, spud mix that I've put out there. So, uh, yeah, probably gonna settle down early. And uh, hope to get woken in the night. Morning. So uh, just gone 5 a.m. The uh, bleeps have started again on the uh, right hand rod and there's a few bubbles coming up from out there down on the patch on the spot. Okay, six o'clock now. Still getting the bleeps on the right hand rod. I'm poised on the edge of my bed chair. I've got one coffee inside me. I'm wired, ready to pounce on that rod. Oh, just done it again. All right, second coffee incoming, just to uh, be doubly ready. Just gone seven o'clock. I've just put something in the car and it went off, didn't it? Right hand rod. So uh, belted down there, got it in there, 
and uh, dumped me. I got my rig back and everything. Let's put my chest is on, as you could see, to go out there. Hand line to try to feel if the fish was still on. The dummy. Unbelievable. Right, well, I'm just going to finish packing up now, get in the car, scoot off to work, and then I'll be back down probably Saturday. So, yeah, see you then. Okay, it's uh, Friday, not Saturday. It's uh, five o'clock, we've just gone. Uh, so it's only, what, less than 36 hours later, and I'm back at the scene of the crime. The crime being losing that fish down there after I was packing the stuff away in the car in the morning. And I'm probably going to do the same again. In that, uh, fish on that spot out there, because um, I didn't get a take off it. And, you know, it's... Uh, Bait's just gone in there recently, so I might revisit it again, and um, I'm probably going to stick one out there as well. Although, uh, I've learnt my lesson and I'm going to be right on the roads. I mean, I had to pack up at some time, I had to go to work. Um, it's just gutting that, uh, it's just sodded all in it. <laughs> you get a take of that, that minute that you're up there. It wasn't even a minute I was up there. Anyway, right, okay. I'm going to get set up then, and uh, I'm no particular rush to get the rods out. Uh, I'll probably get them out about seven, half seven, something like that. Okay, that's them out there. Um, half a dozen balls of bait around each one. Mm. Thirty baits around each one. Okay, it's uh, just coming up half nine. A um, few bleeps on the right hand rod. Um, I think it's probably just silverfish and that in the vicinity of the uh, ground bait. But uh, I'm going to get my head down early and um, yep, hope I get woken in the night. Morning. Just another one on the right hand rod. About 20 to 4 this morning. I was right on it as well. Straight out my bag. But uh, there's obviously too much snake down there under the water. So I've left it out there because the left hand rod has been bleeping as well. It's now just gone 5. I need to put my chesties on ready to get out and uh, hand line the uh, hand line uh, my rig back in above uh, or below the um, leader knot. Otherwise, I'll just get a break. We might get a break anyway, but I don't want to be disturbing the water waging about out there. So I'm going to give up on that spot now, I'm going to either move it a little bit left or just forget it. Right, first coffee of the morning. Well, uh, the bleeping uh, ended with a take from a tench. So uh, now at least I can get the other rod in. I'm getting both out there again. Okay, well I've got them back out there again. Although the uh, right hand one is quite a way left now. Um, but the same sort of distance, a little bit further. But uh, and I'm going to be right on the rods here. Um, all morning. Okay, it's uh, just gone half eight. Um, nothing's happened really. Um, I think I'm going to have a mooch around the lake and uh, if I find fish, have a go for them. Uh, so I'm going to pack up, probably here for about half ten. Um, and that'll give me a good few hours to have a wander around and uh, see if I can find any fish. Okay, it's uh, just coming up 11 o'clock. Uh, I'm packed up, so now I'm going to have a wander, see if I can find some fish. There's two lumps just down here, one right just down in the margin, right up against the rushes here. And another one's just circled out and gone back. They're sitting right there. 
Oh my word. Yeah, you can see the other one down there now, can you? I'm not gonna be common there. Just see its tail. It's got its head down. And the other one sat there. Right there. I should have brought the other camera. I can zoom in. Sort of covering up the bottom there. So I've got to get down in this one here. Look at that, that is a massive fish. That's a massive fish. It's three of them, four of them. Look at it. Look at that fish there. Can you see it? What a fish. Circling back, it's coming in at one, two, three. They're all big fish. One, two, three, four. Look at it, look. Oh my god. That one's gone over there now, it's a the snags. Right. Okay, I'm going to get my gear. There's a fish pack. You can't see it from here. But there is a fish pack there now. Okay, well it's been about half an hour and uh, that big common hasn't come back. I think there was, a, there was only one, possibly two, still here when I put the bait out. And I put the bait out as he was moving away. But uh, he still spooked off of it. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a little bit of bait out, I'm going to pull in the rod, stick a bit of bait out, go for a wander, see if I can find where they've gone. Here he comes. Just come through the snag there. Oh, he's turned. He's back. Come on mate, come in this way. He knows, doesn't he? Look, it's turned and gone. There he is. As you can see, he's just gone out to the snake again. Oh, there's another one there. It's two, so it says two. Okay, he's out there. 
literally just about a foot off the bank. On the nice clean spot. Fine. Oh, he's coming. Okay, it's uh, coming up quarter three now. I'm running out of time really. I've got to be uh, off here by what, half three, quarter four, so I've got about an hour. Um, uh, the only, I've only just seen the, the fish going out there along the tr snag line. Um, but I did see one come in here. I thought that was it. I got that liner, and I can see the bait down there. Not my hook bait necessarily, but I can see the couple of freebies that I put down there on the clear, cleared off spot. And that bit's in the shade now. So, uh, you know, it might have been too bright for the fish earlier. I could see the rig or whatever. But, uh, yep, yeah, got an hour to go. There he is, or one of them, I'm not sure that's a real biggie, come on mate, this way, keep coming, go on down, this way, disappeared. He's just popped up and gone out there now. He's definitely coming in and checking out the area. Here, look, there he goes round. Across. He might come round and then he'll pop up somewhere around here again. He's coming straight in. slow he's going down there come on mate in my mouth. So come around mate. Come back this way. I'm not going to have it, is he? I think when I go, I'm going to stick some bait out there. And I may come down tomorrow evening. Let's do a few hours, if not the night. I've got about 25 minutes. <laughs> it's not going to happen, is it? Well, I've run out of time now, so Pulled the rod in, going back to the car, drive it up and sling the gear in. That fish had stopped coming in. 
those fish had stopped coming in. I hadn't seen them for a little while, so yeah. I've stuck some bait out though, so that uh, you know, I've got the option of coming back and having a few hours perhaps tomorrow. Um, so uh, yeah, sorry I couldn't uh, finish off with a good fish. Uh, there's been a couple on this video, isn't there? But uh, yeah, not how I'd like to have ended it. But I uh, hope you enjoy the video. If you did, please like, subscribe if you haven't. If you're out there fishing, I hope you're catching. And I'll see you next time.